Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. So I get that half the month is already come and gone and I haven't even posted my plans video yet. But if you haven't noticed, I've been an eensy bit busy this month. I don't know about you guys, but like, does your birthday month seem to just <clears throat> completely take over your entire life? I've had a trip with my boyfriend. I've had a birthday party with all of my friends. This thing with Taylor Swift on Good Morning America, which I'm flying up for, um, suddenly kind of came up and fell into my lap. Um, it just feels like so many kind of like big events are all <laughs> happening all at one time. And so it hasn't really afforded me a ton of time to get in here and wrap my head around what I wanna make. So <clears throat> I pulled a bunch of stuff that I know I want to make and the timeline of making it all may or may not happen within the last, you know, two weeks that we have in August, but it will be added to my queue with the things from like June and July that I said I wanted to make. Like, remember that really cute double gauze, like <clears throat> almost like an overshirt? Still definitely want to make that, but um, I hadn't gotten around to it yet. So it's kind of just like in my queue. The cute little dress with the rickrack, still definitely want to make that. So I actually have a pretty big queue as it is. I did pick what I think was a little bit selectively today because a lot of them are just simple, quick little tops. <laughs> Famous last words. Um, I did throw in one dress because I love dresses. And most of the stuff uh, that I'm talking about today is gonna be a really great like seasonal transition as we start to cool down here in Charlotte and you know, looking for a little bit more of a sleeve action tops to wear with pants or jeans and, and stuff like that. So <clears throat> tons of fun, good stuff I have picked out. First though, I cannot have a plans video and not tell you guys uh, what I'm making for the social mashup challenge that I'm hosting on Instagram with Girls in the Garden. If you haven't heard of this yet, there's still plenty of time to enter. We're hosting weekly challenges and the grand prize is a FAF sewing machine. So if you have an Instagram account, head over there, go to my feed, go to Lori's feed. You should find some information within the, you know, past few posts and it's very easily identifiable as social mashup. So what I am making is a mashup between Simplicity 8789 and Butterick 6676. Basically, I wanna take the bodice from this version and attach it to the skirt from this version to make sort of like a blouson dress. Is that how you fancy French people say it? Blouse on, is that how the Southerners in the United States say it? Look at my blouse on dress. Um, anyways, where it creates that kind of like billowing effect of the bodice that I'm going to add like elastic to the waistband and then have a cute little kind of slim A-line skirt. The fabric is this. I don't have like, obviously I've started working on this already. Um, but the fabric is this really pretty kind of like mid-weight, mm, mid-weight what? I don't know what, maybe twill? No, I'm not feeling like it's twill. I don't know what it is. I also think that I got it at Chic Fabrics in New York City. I'm actually 99% sure that's where I got it. I'm pretty sure it's uh, some kind of polyester. It is printed on. Uh, that's about all I know. But what I wanted was something, I mean, I could have gone a lot lighter weight with this too, but I wanted something that was going to really highlight that sleeve, um, really highlight the blouse on effect, and, but still give some structure to that uh, A-line skirt where I didn't feel self-conscious about the thinness of the fabric on my bottom half. So this is what I chose. Um, I'll have a big reveal for this dress at the end of the month, um, but you should be participating in Social Mashup because there's a lot of really fun prizes still left to win, I promise. Um, we're getting so many fun ideas. Someone's doing their birthday dress, someone's doing a wedding dress for their daughter. Like, 
big life milestones, um, all part of social mashup. So it's really fun and kind of an honor to be a part of that. Okay, so here's the dress that I had in mind, <coughs> excuse me, for September. It's Simplicity 8551. I mean, I fell in love with this as soon as I saw it. Oh, do you like my Taylor Swift nails? You can tell I'm getting ready. My 13 year old self is coming out. Um, anyways, I really love this tie up detail. I love kind of how oversized it is. I love her sleeve where it's like elbow length with this big kind of poofy sleeve, but I kind of also like this one that's a little bit more simple because the fabric is amazing. So I got this at Fabrics and Fabrics last year. Uh, check the description box. If they still have this online, I will link to it. Um, but basically what it is, it is a, oh, what's it called when it looks like a basket weave? Shoot, I'll think of it eventually. Anyways, polyester version of that. It's navy and white stripes, but it has a border of these really adorable pink flowers like all in a row. How sweet and adorable is that? So I got enough to make a dress, but it can't be that fitted of a dress because as you can tell, this is somewhat see-through. Like I can totally see my light and my camera through this. So that's why I thought something more loose fitting would be better. Okay, my first top is Butterick 6662. Again, relatively recent release. I wanna say maybe early spring. And I just fell in love with the simplicity of this pattern um, and just, you know, how it was sort of a basic with the pop. Um, so I love all the versions. I love this little ruched version here. I love the Thai bodice a lot. I love this little sleeve. After my refashion that I posted last week, I'm obsessed with these like sleeve statement sleeves now. And then this one down here just has kind of, it does have a pleated sleeve. Was hers pleated? Hers might be pleated too, but it's just hard to tell. Um, and this is for a woven fabric too, which I thought was nice to have kind of like a fitted top that was woven. Um, so the fabric that I chose for this is a, like, oh, because I want to make um, this little tie version here with the little flouncy sleeve thing. I thought that would be really cute to wear with blue jeans, white jeans, black jeans, dress it up, dress it down, you know? So this is the fabric that I chose. This came from Joanne's clearance bin when I lived in Charleston. So sometime in 2018, maybe even 2017, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. But it's a round chalet and it's a gingham with all these little flowers on it. And I just think that'd be so sweet as a top, but kind of like too much as a dress, you know? So I'm reserving it for a top. And this one calls for, yeah, like a little bit more than one and a half yards. So I think I probably got two of this. So I'll have just enough. And then maybe I can make a sweet little like matching headband. Wouldn't that be so cute? Is that too matchy matchy? Would that be weird? No, I think that would be awesome. Okay, well, I've just added another little project to my list, but um, but yeah, so 6662 View D in this little rayon chalet is next. Um, then I have my refashion. Okay, so I'm trying to do a monthly refashion. As you guys know, I feel like I haven't done eight refashions this year. I feel like I've done like three. Have I done more than three? I can't remember. So I'm really trying to like stay on the bandwagon with these. Um, I got this <clears throat> during my shopping trip to Goodwill that I filmed for the how to shop Goodwill for refashioning video that I posted. Um, I'm still going through that stash of clothing that I got in that one trip. So, I mean, I think I spent like 30 or $50 that day. And I know that I've gotten at least three garments from it that I love. And I think this one's gonna be really great too. So we've got this really fun pop of color, solid twill something or another, like sheath dress. It features <laughs> a lace up top, uh, kind of like a straight, elbow length sleeves. 
It has a back yoke. It has uh, angled, are these called French darts? French darts that are angled on the bodice. And it also has um, fisheye darts in the back for some shaping. It's pretty long. It goes past my knees. So what I'm thinking is to kind of like maintain a lot of what they've got going on with this already, I'm gonna keep the skirt kind of its, reg it's shape that it is now, its size that it is now um, to help cover like, you know, the bum and have some wearing ease and all of that. But then from the waist up, I'm going to take it in like a whole, like as much as I need for it to be not fitted, but not like, I, I wanna add a waist seam, you know, to have some waist definition there. So we'll see, I don't have a pattern necessarily. I think technically I could probably use, I mean, honestly, what I'm describing is my mashup again, but using their uh, lace up bodice instead of, oh, uh, whatever bodice this has. You know what I mean? Just cut off the sleeves, size it down and the underarm, size down the sleeves, maybe even make them a little bit shorter and then do like a drawstring waist or something like that. Something like that is what I'm thinking. So, you know, like I said, or like I've always said, refashioning is really just kind of like going for it and then making it work as you go. It's much different of a creative process than just sewing straight from a pattern with full yardage. So we'll see, that will be a fun afternoon of sewing. But honestly, like half the work is done for me. All this is done. The hem of the skirt is already done. The facing, the, yoke, you know, all of that. So I'm really just cutting up. It's really just the side seams, sleeves, and waist. I feel like I can do that pretty quickly. <laughs> Anyways, okay. And so then one more, and it's another top, and this is Simplicity 8417. And for this particular project, I'm thinking View D with the pretty flutter sleeves. But honestly, I want to make one of all of these. I think all of them are so cute and I just love how just relaxed they are, casual, but also dressy. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm still getting over this chest cold. Um, I just, yeah, I just think a lot of them are super, super cute. I don't know, now that I'm looking at it, I kind of like A also. A and D are similar, but I don't know about this now that I'm looking at it on her. I don't know that that would bode well for my figure, but this might be a little bit better. But is this what she's wearing? No, she's wearing B because of the sleeves. Is that the only difference? A, yeah, I think A and B, the only difference is the sleeves. So it's a little long. So yeah, I'll, I would um, somehow try and get the length of D for version A maybe? I don't know, something like that. But the fabric, super cute fabric. Again, it's one of those that I, honestly, I think that I, it's like a ditzy fabric with like little, I don't know, bird heads on it. I don't know what it is. But I honestly think that I won this in the Elliot Berman fabric giveaway that I was just telling you guys about in a video last week. They do this giveaway on Facebook um every week i think it's on thursdays and all you have to do is like their facebook page and then like that post not a lot of people are participating so your chances of winning are high and all of their fabrics are very high quality it's one of the more expensive stores in new york city a lot of it's imported from france and italy and they make some re they sell some really really nice fabrics there so i feel like this is like a rayon chalet but what do they call rayon in France or Italy, I can't remember. Um, it's some kind of like imported rayon chalet. It's really nice quality, it feels so soft. And again, it's one of those that I feel like I can wear with lots of different outfits, lots of different pants, lots of different bottoms, you know, and it make a bunch of different outfits out of it. <clears throat> so, um, so yeah, I just have to decide on the version. I have probably two yards of it and all of these 
fabric requirements are two yards or less. So I can really, I have my pick of the litter here. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see which one. This one's feeling a little bit like maternity to me. It's a little too big. So maybe I'll size down, make it shorter, and then it, then I'll be happy. Yeah, no? Something like that. Um, okay, so that's it. Those are all of my plans for the rest of August. Yeah, my August plans. Weird to say because August is half over. But <clears throat> like I said, I feel like the tops are gonna be really easy and quick to sew up. The refashion is gonna be, you know, a one day kind of thing. And then that dress even, you know, it doesn't have like a ton of style lines on it, you know? So I think I should be able to do that in a weekend maybe. So we'll see how much I can get done. We'll see if I'm able to pick up any of the um, projects that I've mentioned in past plans videos that have not made it to the makes videos. Um, the ones that I, that I described earlier and I don't know, we'll just see. Summer is kind of one of those, it's just a time of year where you're just like, I don't want to be beholden to any schedule or anything. Am I right? Who's with me on that? <laughs> um, anyways, there's going to be a lot of information in the description box. <clears throat> Here's how you access the description box. It's very easy to get to from mobile device or a desktop. I put a lot of information in the description box every single video. So it's nice to get in the habit of just checking that uh, every time you watch one of my videos. Anytime I'm wearing a Me Made, that information, where I got the fabric, what the pattern is, all of that is in the description box. So it can just save you guys a lot of those questions that you have and then having to wait for me to reply. A lot of the information is already there. So just get in the habit of checking the description box. It always has all the goodies for the coupon codes. It has links to any of the products that I mentioned. It's just like, you know, a very informative place. Um, and so yeah, that's gonna do it. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, I do a monthly plans video every single month. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can uh, get those in your feed uh, whenever they come out. You can also click the notification bell if you like getting notifications. If you wanna know when I posted a new video, it'll just tell you inside the hem posted XYZ video. You don't have to go watch that video. You, If you only ever wanted to watch my plans videos, you can just wait for the notification about plans or you can get the notification and then immediately go watch my video. It's up to you. It's your life. I'm just here to entertain. <laughs> um, so yeah, subscribe and click the notification bell if you are so inclined. Um, what else? Leave comments give me a thumbs up. All of those things are super, super, super helpful and much, much, much appreciated. So that's my spiel. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye. <coughs>